called to testify. Thank you. And Attorney Raymond. Yes, the state is going to call Sergeant Groves to the stand. And sir, if you are, believe you can responsibly and safely testify without a mask, that would be our preference if you would. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Could you please state your name for the record and spell both your first and last name? Good afternoon. Uh, Justin Grones, J-U-S-T-I-N-G-R-O-N-E-S. -E and Mr. Grones, how are you employed? I am a detective sergeant with the Langlade County Sheriff's Office. And where the heck is that? Uh, the county seat would be the city of Anago. Okay, so it's north of here about two hours? Uh, just shy of three hours. Oh, okay. A little bit further, three hours. Um, and in early July of 2021, was your agency requested to be an assist agency by the Dane County Sheriff's Office? Yes, we were. What did you know about that? On Wednesday, July 7th, uh, we received a teletype from the Dane County Sheriff's Office asking us to check the cottage uh, or lake home property, which belonged to Bart and Krista Halderson of Dane County. Do you guys have body cams? Uh, in the Langley County Sheriff's Office Detective Bureau, we do, our patrol deputies do not. Okay. So, but because you're a sergeant, you have a body cam? Yes, I do. And did you provide footage of your body cam to the Dane County Sheriff's Office? Yes, I did. And um, I believe we showed you a portion of this. Did it appear to be a true and accurate copy of your body cam footage from your assist to the Dane County Sheriff's Office? Yes, it did. I would move Exhibit 28 into evidence at this time. Any objection? No objection. It is received. Providing the transcript for the court. Thank you. And as we're getting this video queued up, um, roughly what are we going to see on this video? Uh, on, as I mentioned, on July 7th, we had a patrol deputy uh, go and check the property and surrounding area. On Thursday, July 8th, I was assigned to be a liaison for the Dane County Sheriff's Office. Uh, at that time, we were under the impression they were sending some personnel up. Uh, they ultimately called their personnel back to Dane County, but we made contact with two individuals at the Halderson property, and uh, I conducted a search with those family members. And do you remember the address of the Halderson property? Uh, yes, ma'am. It is at uh, N5950 Sawyer Lake Road, which is in the township of Wolf River, uh, Langley County, state of Wisconsin. Okay. Um, we are now going to move to publish Exhibit 28. Very good. Um, oh, and thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this instruction applies to any and all audio or video um, exhibits which you may be viewing during this trial. You are about to hear and view an audiovisual recording. Recordings are proper evidence and you may consider them just as any other evidence. Listen carefully. Some parts may be hard to understand. You may consider the actions of a person, facial expressions, and lip movements that you can observe on videotapes to help you determine what was actually said and who said it. This video has been closed captioned. You will not be provided with any other type of transcript to help you listen to the recording. If you notice any difference between what you heard on the recordings and what you read in the captioning, you must rely on what you heard, not what you read. Some videos may have been edited or redacted for reasons which are not relevant to these proceedings. In addition, if you hear statements of others in the videos, those statements are not being offered as evidence. The statements of the defendant as recorded in some videos are the evidence offered by the state. You may proceed. 
Is it muted? Judge, is the sound on with you? I'm just figuring that out. Oh, so. We'll go off the record for a moment. Now it might be on. Or it was on before. Hi there. Hi there. Okay. I'm Detective Sergeant Groans with Langley County. Are you guys... Um, the Halderson. You, okay, you are affiliated with them? Yes. Okay, What what's your relation? You're their son. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, it's my understanding uh, someone from the Dane County Sheriff's Office uh, is going to be up here soon. I don't know if you've... They, unfortunately, were just called from being informed. They were just called back, actually. Oh, so really? they will not be here. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's news to this me, is, too. Yeah, it's okay. This is actually someone from the Sheriff's Office, if you want to talk to him. Oh, sure. Hello? Hi. This is a detective which went into the Dane County Sheriff's Office. I was actually just on the phone with um, Mitchell telling him that unfortunately uh, our two detectives that were, getting, uh, were going up there to meet with them, they got pulled back and they're um, here now. And I was just, um, I just found out about this and uh, I was told to give him a call and let him know. So I apologize for the miscommunication. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll... Uh... I guess we'll touch base with uh, with them up here. Um, is there anything else that uh, that you guys would need us to do while we're out here? At this moment, no. But I mean, if um, you feel like you know it's worth going around with them, if they wanted to talk to neighbors or something, because they mentioned they might want to. Sure. But I mean, that's something you certainly don't have to do. Okay. So, but um, at this time, I'm kind of one of the people kind of following orders. But sure. Um, I, I don't think there's anything that we could have you do at this moment, but that doesn't mean it won't change. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, if uh, if we come up with anything here um, through our conversation, we'll be in touch with you guys and let you know then. Okay, all right, thank you so much. Yep, thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Yep. Uh, this is their son, and then are you both mm-hmm. a friend? I'm fiancé. Fiancé, okay. Yep. Um, Apparently, he was just on the phone with Dane County, and they uh, got called back to Dane County, so they're no longer coming up here. Oh. Um, so, at least they let you know that, I guess. Uh, I, had, I was just calling to see what was going on. Sure, yeah. Now. Yeah, because we were kind of thinking the same thing, too, based on when they said they left, that they should probably be here. Um, so, yeah, I'm Detective Sergeant Groans with Langley County, Sergeant O'Neill, Deputy Rojas. Um, Deputy Rojas has been out here a little bit uh, yesterday and then uh, this morning as well. Uh, this is my first time at this property. I haven't seen anything. Uh, one thing that he mentioned that I think would be a good idea is, um, have you, like, walked around or anything yet? Yeah, I did a walk around just quick. Okay. Do you have a, a key or access? We were hoping so, but no. No? <laughs> okay. We found a set of keys we were hoping were the right ones, but it doesn't look like it. Gotcha. Um, if it works for you, I just want to roll my windows up and lock my car, but uh, maybe we could just take a walk around and see. You would know the property probably better than we would. It's changed a bit since I've been here, but yeah. Sure. How, how long has like, it been in the family? Uh, it's always been in the family since the 40s. Okay. Um, do you guys typically use it a lot? or? Uh, a few times a year. This is when my parents come up. I haven't come in a while. Okay. If you had to guess, I mean, how long has it been since you were up here? Me personally, probably five, six years. Okay. Do, uh, do your parents regularly come up here? Yeah, they come here a few times a year. A few times a year, okay. Three or, three or four. I don't remember if this is the first time this year or not. Or... I think this is the third time this year. Because okay. I think your dad opened it and then yeah, came after a storm or yeah. something. Okay. And then came again. Sure. All right, yeah. Let me uh, let me just grab my windows quick, and then uh, we'll take a look around, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Ten forty-three. Nineteen. Go ahead. Uncoded. Uh, apparently, Dane County canceled their detectives, so they're no longer coming and returning to Dane County. Uh, we are out with the Halverson's son and his fiance, and we'll be taking a walk around the property with them. Ten four.
that's quick. So what am I doing telling the parent to cancel? Yeah, yeah, I think he was monitoring the radio, but... <laughs> Do you guys have a boat or anything up here? Yeah, that's what I wanted to try to get in there as well to see if any of them are missing. Boathouse? Okay. Yeah, that's the boathouse there. I mean, everything looks still pretty closed up like it. Can you tell if the latches are on from that window? Okay. Okay. I would not think so, because that is actually like open, not even just the blinds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. If we get a ladder. No. Ah. I mean, uh, sir, I, I didn't catch your name. Oh, Mitchell. Mitch. Mitchell. Um, because otherwise, I mean. We probably could get in if you wanted us to. I obviously there'd be some damage. We'd mm -hmm. try to minimize it as best we could. Mm -hmm. but yeah, no, I think that honestly at least makes sense at this point. Yeah, to I there. to be safe rather than sorry. Yeah, and, pretty I mean, much. Yeah, we we're not going to drive a, a truck through a wall, but um, mm -hmm. but no, unfortunately, if it's locked, we would have to do something. But yeah, I wouldn't expect the the locks to be crazy strong anymore at this okay. point. Is it just the padlock on the front door? Yeah, it's just a padlock. On okay. The door. Yeah, and I, I have a what pry bar, and we might have yeah. some other options to. Yeah, a lock is a lot cheaper yeah. to replace <laughs> in the wall. But <laughs> but yeah, let's maybe take a look at the boathouse and. Same thing down here. It's just a padlock, but there is a window, but it's kind of tall. So it's okay. It's like sunflower seeds. Yeah. They went, that wouldn't be theirs. Okay. It looks kind of old, too. Yeah, it looks pretty old. Do you, based on, I guess, your experience with the property, do, like, a lot of people walk the shoreline? Or I know there's there's the campground and stuff. Is that, like, common for people to, to kind of wander? I guess it's hard to say because I don't... Not when we're here, at least. Sure. It's possible, I guess, they do when they're not here. Yeah. The other thing was a six-pack beer kind of Yeah, and to be, you know, depending if, if your parents only come up here a couple times a year, if the neighbors know that, and you have a nice little beach here, they might just kind of poach on, on your little territory here. Yeah. Oh, 
sure it's way up there. Okay. If you have a bolt cutter in your squad by chance, I do not need a bolt cutter. But yeah, I got a pry bar. I got a pry bar. Yeah. Well, you can grab that. We can go from there. That window is interesting. Yeah. I just a bunch of Right. No. I don't know if you just want to hang tight with them. I'll, uh, I'll go see what I got for equipment. Yeah, you can start there. It's definitely not uh, maintained. Is it just me or does that not look faded like it should be? I think it would be nice to uh, What the hell would it be going to? There's just this thing here, but... This looks more like a phone box. Yeah. That'd be phone, and that's coax. From the look of it. So go ahead and get in. Yeah. I think uh might just be able to pop that latch right off. Oh, we should take pictures first. Yeah. Before and after. Feature. <coughs>
Sheriff's office, anybody inside? Now it's your presence. Make yourselves known. Closed door straight, closed door right. Open kitchen area, left of the stairs. Okay. Well, I suppose you all hold the stairs over here. Okay. And you want to clear the kitchen. Sheriff's office, anybody inside? No surprises, make yourself known. Because I'm not even seeing nothing's like left out like the right left here, but we're coming back. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like there's a duffel bag or. Yeah, no, there's. There was a shirt on a chair in that back bedroom, but sure. Seems pretty sturdy, so I'll get out of your way. Right. Yes, it was. Don't hit it with your head. Very <laughs> much a hands and feet situation.
Yeah, because these two boxes look the freshest. Yep. But there's uh, a little dust on them. No cobwebs there, you can see it. This used to look a lot different back in the day. Oh, sure. Oh, well, on those mode. Yeah. Most of the trees. That's got to be his dad, I'd say, huh? It must be. Sure seems that one. <coughs> well. And this is just that screen torch. There's, uh... I think we should have him go through it too. Probably. I mean, I, I don't see anything, but I guess. Oh, yeah. It's a power off. Mm -hmm. I just saw. Maybe they turn the electricity off when they're down here. Oh, look at that. Maybe there's even extra rocks more than needing a lamp. But there's some spare rocks in there. Another thing, I don't know if <clears throat> that tree stand looking thing is theirs or not, but I don't think. And then there's this, that has the same kind of padlock if that's theirs. Stuff to say up here. Yeah, I'll ask him. <clears throat> So we were able to uh, just basically just pop the latch off the front door so it, it shouldn't, uh, that really should be the only thing that would need to be fixed is just the latch. Um, it should still lock and everything. Um, nobody inside and nothing looks like it's disturbed. Um, but if you want to take a look with us, because you might know better if um, anything looks out of the ordinary. Um, do you know that little like shed building that's in front? Is that... There's, there's okay, yes. and so I would kind of want to look in there, and also kind of want to look in the boathouse just to see. Okay, if yeah. um if you're cool with it, I mean we can uh, just the same thing. Try to just pop the latch off and. That'd be great. There okay. were, I saw right next to the door. There's a little basket with some spare padlocks and keys. Would you Those think? should probably be the right ones. The right I would. Okay, miss. well yeah, maybe we'll we'll save a couple latches. Yeah. Um, you remember, the, they usually keep the keys in that basket. Okay. So if there's something in there. Yeah. Um. Didn't notice anything like um, like a duffel bag or anything to suggest that maybe they were staying here and uh, like left and were going to come back. Um, I'm assuming the power is shut off too. I'm assuming maybe when they're if they're not going to be up here, they might shut the power off. There's a little bit of damage there. I took pictures before and after, so we got it documented. But I tried to be as gentle as I could. So. Oh, yeah, I'm going to just back up my car. Okay. Now, so I'll just keep it here until we get in. Okay. Sure. Oh, let's 
not these. See if, if the boat was missing. these keys and try them but what's that Biter thing? Water beetle or something? Holy nine, shit. Two, nine, four. Well, I've seen deer on town the last last week or so. That far. Yeah, I know. There's no way. That 
one actually looks tougher. It sure does. Be a bad burglar. Yeah, I know. I wonder if this... Oh, that doesn't turn that way. I was going to say, did you just turn that and then... Not anymore. No. No, I wonder if that latch will fit through that lock. You know what I thought maybe. Saved the lunch. And a boat, a canoe, and a tube. So, silly eels. That looks like two boats, a canoe, two tubes. YouTube. And there's a big open spot where maybe there could have been another canoe or something. But sure. I think it's dead. I think it's just like a shell. Of... I think it's just plain possum. Unfortunately, none of these keys work for the locks. Um, so we did have to, we popped the one off the shed and the boat hose. Okay. Um, nothing out of the ordinary in the shed. Um, I can give you these back here. Um, the boat hose, it looks like they're, I, I guess I'm not sure how many, there's a, like a John boat and a canoe in there. And then there's some like pool noodles, inflatable uh, inner tubes. Okay. I don't know if, uh, how many boats are supposed to be in there, but. My brother seemed to have thought there should have been Two boats in the canoe. So okay. Let's take a look. At yeah, them. absolutely. Do you guys have to Does uh, your family do any other property like up here or in the area at all? Okay. Yeah, and that boat's always there too. 
It looks like the, yep, there is another one, second one behind it. Oh, there. Oh, yep, you're right. There is. Okay. Um, yeah, this looks pretty standard. pretty normal. Okay. So I, I know, I guess, I don't know a ton of details about everything that's gone on or going on. I guess my understanding is they, they're believed to be with another couple. Someone else, at least. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who. Okay, I was gonna see if you knew who they were, if because uh, we could always look and see if they own property up here in the area. Um, I have to assume it's someone they know and does own property up here. Okay. He said his brother texted him that uh, they did make it safely to White Lake, but they never specifically said cottage, like our cottage ever. Now that like reading back through stuff, they just said we're going up north. We made it to White Lake. Okay. And you said they were gonna see the. Fourth. They were going for the fourth parade. Sure. Okay. In White Lake. Before White Lake, I'm um, any other, like, you said uh, the family doesn't have any other property, but any other relatives or anything that you know of up here? Not up here, okay. Or medical treatment. Said he was good and became agitated. Tonight. Ten for it. You said most of their friends are still in town, back at your, back at your hometown. Right. Yeah, all the ones we could think of that they would come up here with. Okay. But I guess we were thinking they came here. I don't know. I don't know anybody else that has a cabin up here. Sure. Well, that, even up this way, like I said, in the forest, O'Connell. Yeah, there's a lot of backwoods lakes and, uh, yeah. It's probably a dumb question that you've been asked, but have... You tried like phone con? Has anybody been able to get a hold of them? Or okay, sure. Do you know if they tried like pinging their phones at all? Not mine, at least. Well, Over. your brother said at some point that they he signed off the phone something, I'm hoping but they can we do haven't phone heard records. anything about sure. them trying okay. to get a hold of their phones. Sure, and yeah, that's that's probably something they're working on, on like a phone ping, um, trying to get a location of, of where it's at, but. And then, do you know, was there, do you know, does the family own property across the road, too? I thought I had heard or saw that somewhere that... I think so. I think they own a bit of it. Okay. Mom owns a bit across the street. Yeah. It just, just wooded, though? Is mm -hmm. it? Yeah, there's nothing out there. Okay. Like, That's what it shows on the map. Just just out there. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And they would prefer to stay in the cabin as opposed to coming up and sleeping on the ground, I guess, so they're not yeah. tent camping. Okay. You said your dad wasn't much of a hunter or a fisher either? He, he doesn't hunt, but he does fish. Okay. That's not like, he doesn't own a boat to go fishing or anything yeah, like that. He boat. fishes from like Just, the Yep, okay. Hmm. We're gonna check out the front shed to see if those jerry can things are there. Oh yeah, he's not um, His brother said that they got gas cans ready for them to go. So you said they would be by the shed if they brought them here. Okay, that's good to know, yeah. Before I forget to, I'll, I'll give you my card Thank for you. up here. It's got my phone number, email, anything on there.
one in the back. Uh, I don't think, I think you meant the plastic. That's like the old Okay, stuff. I didn't know if you were the plastic. The, um, like the treehouse deer stand right there, is that yours as well? Yeah. Okay. Looks like the floor is falling out of it, so I'm assuming. It's pretty old. Yeah. Did you check? Did you check it? Okay. All right. Okay. Plus I get some work done. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of any other possibility. Like, you know, when you were a, a kid, when you came up here in years past, I mean, is there anywhere else you guys would go? Like, uh, up to Monaco or Rhinelander or anywhere like that. Uh, I think if you were up here, you'd like take a day trip somewhere. I'm not going to know the name of it, but we would go to a candy store just for fun, but that would be about it. Okay. Maybe my parents would go there since they like the taffy there if they were up here. But okay. I, it was a pretty big place, but I don't know the name of it. Sure. There's some big candy store up Oneida County, isn't there? Uh, I know there's one like downtown Monaco. I think it's uh, yeah, it's a pretty big place. It's got a few different rooms that you can go around in, but it's not a not a chain. Okay. At least not that I could, not that I would think. It's like the mom and pop up north kind of thing. Store. Yeah. 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 Something like that. It's. Do you remember if you drove like a while to get there? Yeah, it's it was a decent. Something like thirty minutes, maybe. Sure. Um, your parents like go to casinos at all or anything like that? Okay. There hasn't been any squabbling amongst the family about ownership up here, has there? Go ahead, 416. They live on the east and the west. Okay. The folks didn't say anything about having problems with neighbors wanting to buy them out or anything like that. Yeah, well, for, uh, I mean, for us, we're, we're here and available if, uh, you know, there is anything that, that comes up. Um, I mean, we can certainly uh, take a drive through White Lake, too, and, and see. I mean, we're, we're looking at uh, quite a few days ago now since the parade, but, hey, it might, still might be worth something. Okay. Um, but it, you don't think of, you can't think of any, like, friends, family members, anything that, uh, hey, we're going to go see Bob and Sue or... Unfortunately, no. Okay. Um, I mean, this isn't anything anyone can help with, but I wonder if anyone at your dad's or mom's work have also not been there. Yeah, I was wondering about my dad's. What, uh, what does he do for work? He's an accountant. Okay. Yeah, I can, uh, I can try to get in touch with them as well, um, just to, uh, 
to kind of see uh, where where they're at. Um, being Dane County, they have a lot more people than we do, and they probably have a lot of people working on this. Uh, I can almost guarantee it. Um, do you happen to have the the number that you were talking to? Just I I wanted to grab that just so I can call and, and let their detective know. Yeah, right, right. Uh, yep. 608. Okay. 571. Okay. 8756. 8756. Perfect. Yeah, I'll give them a call and kind of let them know where we're at up here. Minutes, um, I think we can cut it at this point. And then, yeah, we can, uh, we can certainly, um, at least one of us, take a drive through White Lake and, and see. Um, we stopped it at 4726, just for the record. Very good. Your Honor, I only have about five more minutes with this witness, but I see a lot of wiggles. I don't know if you wanted to perhaps do a um, break now. Do you know how long the cross-examination might be? Not long at all. Let's go ahead and, and okay. forge ahead. We're not quite to the 90-minute mark yet, at least in this room. I know you were in the hallway a little bit before, but we'll get this finished up. Okay. Um, so, long story short, Sergeant, there was no evidence of Mr. and Mrs. Halderson at the cabin up in White Lake. Correct. Um, in the course of your assistance with Dane County, um, were you asked a couple questions about a parade that occurred over Fourth of July weekend? Yes, I was. And I'm going to show you what has been marked as Exhibit 29. Could you please identify Exhibit 29 for me? Yes, ma'am. This is a copy of an ad that was placed in the Anigo Daily Journal by the Village of White Lake. Uh, this is advertising the annual White Lake Fourth of July celebration. Um, and on that flyer, and you helped us actually get a copy of this. Is that fair? Yes, it is. Um, and on that flyer, does it tell you a time and location of a parade that occurred over Fourth of July weekend? Uh, yes, the parade was Saturday, July third, two thousand twenty-one, at two p.m. Not on July 4th. Correct. I would move to admit Exhibit 29 into evidence. No objection. It is received. It may be published. No further questions. And cross-examination, please. Just briefly, um, this sign, it's just a, it's a piece of paper that people would put up at bars and stores and things around town. Yes, ma'am. That's it. Thank you. Any redirect? Um, just briefly. <laughs> Sergeant, when you, were in, when you were asked to provide proof of when the parade was, did you actually contact any officials? I did, um, and they direct and they directed you back to um, this advertisement. She did, yes. Okay. Was it also uh, advertised online? Yes, it was. Okay. Nothing further. May this witness be excused and released from his subpoena. Yes. Detective Sergeant, thank you so much. I think we can get you back home by dinner. Thank At you. this point, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take our afternoon break. Um, we'll resume at 3.15. All rise for the jury.